Well, cardiovascular disease is Australia's biggest killer and it's a result of a large number of different risk factors working together. What we did was use data from the Australian Bureau of Statistics National Survey of Australians to look at all the different risk factors for cardiovascular disease and to put them together and to then assess people's risk of having a heart attack or stroke in the next five years. This research is really highlighting that having a full uh, cardiovascular risk assessment will save lives right now, but also will have fantastic outcomes for people in the future. In the past, a lot of people have used single risk factor approaches where they've looked at someone's blood pressure in isolation or their cholesterol level in isolation. This is really about following the National Vascular Disease Prevention Alliance guidelines, which are the recommended guidelines, to make sure that, when, that we assess someone's cardiovascular risk by looking at all of their risk factors and assessing the probability that they're going to have a heart attack or a stroke in the next five years, and then targeting treatment appropriately. It's really important that people 45 years and older, or 35, if Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander, see their doctor for a cardiovascular risk assessment. These medicines are recommended in people who are at high risk because they're highly effective and it's a great opportunity to prevent heart attacks and strokes in the long term.